In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. To prepare ourselves to celebrate this Eucharist, we acknowledge that we have sinned and we ask for God's mercy. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call us sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Now, Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, whose Son was pleased to be welcomed in St. Martha's house as a guest, grant that through her intercession, serving Christ faithfully in our brothers and sisters, we may merit to be received by you in the halls of heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Be to God. Responsorial Psalm. God is my refuge on the day of distress. God Lord is my refuge on the day of distress. Deliver me from my enemies, O my God. Protect me from those who rise up against me. Deliver me out of those who work evil. From the bloodthirsty, save me. Lord is my refuge on the day of distress. Even now they lie in wait for me and life. The mighty stir strife against me. For no transgression or sin of mine, O oh Lord, for no fault of mine they run and make red. God is my refuge on the day of distress. O oh my strength, I will watch for you, for you, O oh God, are my fortress. My God, in his steadfast love, will meet me. My God will let me look in triumph on my enemies. God, God, is, God is my refuge on the day of distress. But I will sing of your might. I will 
will sing aloud of your steadfast love in the morning. For you have been a fortress for me and a refuge in the day of my distress. God, God is, is my refuge, refuge in the day, day of distress. O oh, my strength, I will sing praises to you. For you, O oh God, are my fortress, the God who shows me steadfast love. God, God is, is my, my refuge on the day of distress. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Whoever follows me will have the light of life. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, o Lord. When Jesus arrived, he found that Lazarus had already been in the tomb for four days. Now Bethany was near Jerusalem, some two kilometers away, and many Jews had come to Mary and Martha to console them about their, about their brother. When Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went out to meet him, and Mary stayed at home. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now I know that God will do whatever you ask of him. Jesus said to her, Your brother will rise again. Martha said to him, I know that he will rise again in the resurrection on the last day. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. Those who believe in me, even though they die, will live. And everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? She said to him, Yes, Lord, I believe that you are the Messiah, the Son of God, the one coming into the world. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Whenever we mention Mary and Martha, I think most people go to the story where Mary sat at Jesus' feet and Martha complained that her sister was not helping her. But today it is Martha that shines. She is the first of all who followed Jesus to acknowledge that he is the resurrection. She showed incredible faith in the face of the death of her brother. It's funny sometimes that when we think of others, we get the wrong image. We think of the not so good side of them, such as Mary and Martha. But today Martha shines, and that is what we need to keep in mind rather than keeping the image of her running about, she is the one that stood by Jesus and acknowledged the resurrection. We now turn to our Father in heaven and bring our needs to him. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For the church, we are all people of faith welcome both the weak and the weak. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all leaders, we they recognize the fundamental rights of every person. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For those who have been judged and rejected by others. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For the people of God, may we have patience with others and with ourselves. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For those who suffer at the hands and words of others, may they find peace and healing. 
Spirit of the Lord, who are and hear our prayers. And for those who have died, especially those whose faith is known to God alone, may they find eternal peace. We pray to the Lord, Lord, and hear our prayers. God of God, we thank you for receiving the prayers we give before you. Grant us what we need and give us the grace to recognize your will through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Bless you, Lord, forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual dream. Blessed be God for us. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands, but pray for the Lord of the day, and all of the Lord of the Lord is true King. As we proclaim your wonders in St. Martha, O Lord, we humbly implore your majesty that as your homage of love was pleasing to you, so to our beautiful service, we find favor in your sight, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you are praised in the company of your saints, and in crowning their merits, you crown your own gifts. By their way of life, you offer us an example. By communion with them, you give us companionship. By their intercession, sure support, so that, encouraged by so great a cloud of witnesses, we may run as victors in the race before us, and win with them the imperishable crown of glory through Christ our Lord. And so of all the angels and archangels, with the great multitude of saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. We proclaim the end of all and the past the resurrection and the new life. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Claude our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Our mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Our mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am worthy to have you shake hands out of my mind. So I will say the word and I shall show you. Let us pray. May the holy reception of the body and blood of your only begotten Son, O Lord, turn us away from the cares of this fallen world, 
so that, following the example of St. Martha, we may grow in sincere love for you on earth and rejoice and behold you for eternity in heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. Now may God bless you with the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And let us go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.